everything that my generation fantasizes about Hollywood, you lived. You lived it. It's like Sinatra, Hugh Hefner, Marilyn Monroe, the studio yeah, system, Lou Wasserman. Marilyn uh, could not have happened now. Why do you think? Couldn't happen now. Not with the news, right. not with press, and certainly not with this town. This town had seen everything. If a girl like Marilyn came along now, she'd be uh, Mitzi Gaynor. Mm -hmm. They would just not, do you, like. And, uh, our mores are so far ahead of that. Mm -hmm. We'd say, okay, Marilyn Monroe, next. You know, we experienced it. I know, well, there can't be another Tony Curtis. Well, I certainly hope not. Yeah. <laughs> I get regenerated every weekend. It's great. How is the, uh, you're here to talk about Sweet Smell of Success, obviously. Whatever and, you want to talk yeah. about. All right. Talk a little bit about your book, how it was kind of torturous. Mm -hmm. The director was very specific. But did you have any concept that this many years later would be considered Not one of the best at films? All. Number one, you couldn't make a movie like that. Number one, you couldn't have lived that period mm -hmm. of time. How do you live that period of time where Hella Hopper says to be on the phone? I'm gonna kill you in this town. You gotta tell me who you were with last night. I'm gonna kill you in this town if you don't tell me the name of the girl you were with in this town. What if I told her it was a guy? Mm -hmm. What would she have done then? <laughs> I mean, it was the mores and the mm -hmm. attitude was so simplistic. And what about Sinatra, the famous line I was reading in your book, yes. like, I love him, I sent him out to get one guy and he comes had, back with, or one had, girl and he comes back with four had, girls? We had the best time. It was a lot of fun. It wasn't salacious, okay? Mm -hmm. It wasn't slimy. There was nothing degenerate about it. It was kind of healthy. Well, everyone got married. I mean, I yeah. was looking at, you know, reading well, it. It's like about. people had five marriages, Betty Davis, and now no one kind of gets married. They just sleep around. No, they don't. Right. But you've got to be careful. See, now, in those days, uh, you didn't have to be careful. Your partners were careful for you. Mm -hmm. So wherever you went, there was a careful environment. So it wasn't it so salacious. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a lot... Uh, I, uh, I just loved that period of time, the 50s. Right, post-World War II, I, uh, yeah, before the, the 40s. Yeah. I just got out of the Navy, and I used my GI Bill of Rights to uh, go to an acting school. Right. The government was so good to me, and a lot of other guys. They and were you always that handsome? Always handsome. Right. Want to see my other side? I mean, yeah, it's like, you look at, it, you just look, I look at those pictures, you were just gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, people must have just been. Uh, yeah, it was really nice for me. You know, I didn't, well, I shouldn't say I didn't think of it as, but it was never an ego trip with me. I never realized that I was handsome until I was almost out of my teens. I said, why are all these people looking at me? I had the best time yeah. in those days. I bet you, know, you did. Because I loved the way I looked. That was a, 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 a help. And I loved the girls. I didn't have much experience. So I had to learn that experience. Being a handsome guy, you got to learn how mm -hmm. to do it. A well, little it bit more a pressure. Little, it took a little time to yeah. get to learn how to do it. But it was fun. Now, you know, I, it was never a negative thing. I, I never got girls in trouble. They never got me in trouble. I know you live in Nevada now. You spend a lot of time painting. Obviously, one of your pictures is at, is at MoMA. Do you, is there anything that you wish you had done that you haven't done or that you didn't do during that time? No. I just want to do what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a, uh, a micro scientist, a gynecologist, although for a while there I thought <laughs> I was going to become one. <laughs> but, that's a, yeah. but that's another story. Well, the Hefner stuff yeah. is so oh, yeah. great. But, you uh, know, all of that, was, yeah. and it was so healthy. Right. There wasn't anything salacious mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. mean or mm -hmm. ugly about it or dirty about it, mm -hmm. you know? It was really an extraordinary happy period of time. And we all knew how to take care of ourselves. I don't mean in, in terms of sex. But I mean in terms of our behavior. Right. We learned how to be it's nice. It's a code kind of be uh, hospitable with people. And it wasn't 
It was never a negative. I never mm -hmm. found it negative. I never found myself ever in any trouble of any kind. Well, that's I just floated <laughs> from one place to another. Now, you're, do you have a favorite film from that, from any of the well, hundred the films that, that you made? Sweet Smell of Success, Some Like It Hot, mm -hmm. uh, Houdini. Mm -hmm. Those are early ones, Houdini. The Great Race, uh, Operation Petticoat mm -hmm. with Cary Grant. Right. What a killer yeah. that was. What a movie that was. Did I love it all? And each one of these pictures turned out excellent. You know? Yep. When I'd see him in the rushes, I said, that's it. What about the Defiant one? What, the, he was groundbreaking. The, 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 the Defiant one. I've got 10, 12, 15 movies. Isn't that right. good? It's that amazing. I was able to make them. And I was able to make them. Well, the fact that uh, what was interesting, especially for uh, with Sidney Poitier, is that you insisted on double billing on that in that time. I insisted on the billing in that movie of uh, Tony Curtis, Sidney Poitier, <coughs> in the Defiant ones. It was I insisted mm -hmm. on that they were going to put it, uh, Tony Curtis in the Defiant ones, co-starring Sidney Poitier. By the time they got to his name, half the picture was over. You know, I said, you can't do that. They're two guys chained together all through the movie when they go to the bathroom when they're chained together. They do all of those personally. How can you even separate them like that? But when that I was mentioned the toilet thing, well, maybe that's <laughs> a, they, they kind of understood. Uh, oh, well, but your I, looks are still holding, which is I'm, very impressive. I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm 84 years old now. It's amazing. Congratulations. Mm. I need some hair. Yeah, but, but the hat is perfect. good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks. So